Hello my honeys, it's Emmy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Emmy. I'm a nutritionist and the creator of the Slim on Starch program where my clients lose anywhere from the last few pounds to way, 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 way more than that. So if you are interested in losing weight on a plant-based diet that doesn't involve cal calorie, cal cal calorie, cal calorie counting, portion sizing, or any of that crazy stuff, and being able to just eat in abundance, eat and move on with your life, then click the link in the down bar or just go to healthyemmy.org and you can apply to work with me and my team. Also make sure that you hit subscribe and you turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I'm uploading a new video, which is on Wednesdays and Catterdays. It is beautiful outside today, so I decided to come out for my filming because I am just, I am so excited to move into my new house where the aesthetic is gonna be so beautiful and white and light and bright because that is not currently the aesthetic inside of this house that I'm in right now, but it will be. And so I've come outside since it's just so nice out. So today is part three of my interview with my client, Tammy. If you haven't seen parts one and two, then you can go ahead and look in the down bar because I have a link to them down there. And we talk about a number of things during this interview. First off, Tammy starts by giving her advice for anybody that wants to get the results that she has gotten through our work together. Now, Tammy came to me and she said, you know, I'm 44 and my whole life I've been able to maintain my weight. I haven't had weight issues up until I started to get older and all of the old tips and tricks that I was using, they weren't working anymore. And you know, that's why we started working together because for so many years, she was able to use the little diets here and there, work out a little bit. And then all of those things just stopped working. So I asked her, you know, what advice do you have for people that want to get the results that you have gotten? And here is what she said. So what advice do you have for people? Because everybody wants to be 44 pose, posing in a bikini. So what advice do you have for other women to, to help them get to where you are? Well, I think, honestly, I'm going to say right off, why not do your program? Because, thank you. I mean, come on. I mean, get on track, all right? Get a baseline. And then I, I think another big thing is to having a community of people, whether it's on social media. That's been huge for me. I need that. Um, it's helped me to keep my thinking where I want it to be. I mean, this is what I enjoy. So I surround myself online with people because in my, my world, there's not a lot of it, you know, yeah. um, of this kind of whole food plant-based health kind of thinking, but that's okay. You know, we don't, we don't need everybody to think the way we do. So those are two big things and just kind of putting, putting it to work. I mean, I enjoy it. I enjoy the process. I enjoy becoming a better person or working at myself and making things better. So why not? Then I asked Tammy for her advice for busy women because Tammy owns three, three, count them three businesses. And so I said, how the heck did you have time to even get on the phone with me and do this program? And here's what she said. Because you own three businesses. So how the heck did you have time to do this? That was the other thing. I don't have time not to do it. Okay. Because seriously, I didn't know if I knew before how much time saving. I was just telling my husband last night. I'm like, I have so much food in my fridge to just pick from for the next few days. Do you know how much time that saves? I mean, and it's healthy and it makes me feel good. So the way I look at it is a little bit of batch cooking is way more time saving than what I was doing before, which is what are we having for dinner tonight? Run out to the store every other day. Um, my problem was I was way too creative with my food. I, I needed the simplicity of, of Slim on Starch, really. So it put me in a simple kind of frame of mind with my thinking, but also my cooking. And 
I didn't, I don't, I'm glad I did it. I, I saved more time now than I did before. So as far as being a business owner, this, this makes way more sense um, to be able to grab some rice, and some homemade vinegar, uh, not vinegar, but um, balsam, yeah, balsamic vinegar with dressing. I mean, come on, what, what's better than that in a salad? I mean, most of the time I'm, my husband has to tell me, I'm like, oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. It's like, I can't imagine doing it any other way. Now. Tammy also is on the road the majority of the time living in an RV. She is traveling. She's always on the road. And so I said to her, you know, isn't it just easier to just pick up stuff on the go when you're traveling? You're, you're not at home in your kitchen. Isn't it just easier? And here's what she said. Now, most people would say, okay, I'm going on the road. It is just so much easier for me to just pick something up, you know, because we always, humans are always running a cost benefit analysis. What is the cost of doing this and what's the benefit? And for so many people, they see the cost as just being so much higher for cooking your own food and figuring it out when you're on the road versus just picking something up. So that tells me that there must be some benefit of doing what you do. What is it, Tammy, that makes you say, yeah, it probably would be easier to just pick up, get takeout, whatever, but I think I'm gonna do this instead. For me, it's how I feel. Mm. I mean, how I eat affects how I feel. I'm very sensitive. And I just, I, I know, there are times when we might pick things up, but I, I just like feeling good. And I like eating really good food. And most of the time I'm disappointed when I go out to be honest with you. All right, and also I asked Tammy, how the heck do you make your food taste good? Because a lot of people say that they struggle with that. They struggle to find flavor on a whole foods plant-based diet. And Tammy is just killing it in that department. So here is her advice. That's the biggest thing. I like flavor. I put a lot of flavor, a lot of herbs, a lot of, you know, good stuff in my food how that you you're not gonna get. Tell, tell us about that. How do you give your food flavor? Uh, tons of herbs, first of all. People do not, I mean, you know, they put a little bit of herbs. Are they dried herbs? Both, but mostly the fresh, you're going to get the flavor. So um, I'm a huge, I always have parsley, cilantro, basil, um, mint. Mix them all up and use a ton of them and put them on your food. Very good flavor. Without, you know, SOS free, they're, they're everything. They're great. They're good health food. Um, I use a lot of dried spices as well, but I think the secret is don't be afraid of th those things. Go overboard, okay? It's not going to kill you, and then you can adjust later, but most people don't use enough. Anyway, that's my opinion. <laughs> I mean, there's one of the things that Charmaine says, one of our dietitians, Charmaine, she says, Spices are just minerals and nutrients in powder form, you know? And so why not embrace them? And they make your food super flavorful. So that's tremendous. And then I just had to know, I just had to know how she keeps up this lifestyle while being in an RV the majority of the time. And so I said, tell me about your cooking schedule, your batch cooking schedule. Tell me how you get this done living in an RV. Here's what she does. Okay, yeah. so I also want to pick your brain on how the heck you navigate this while being in an RV on the road. Do you have a full-size fridge? How do you go to the grocery store? Tell us about it. Yes. So I am, it's not a camper. It is a full-size coach RV. So it's pretty large, okay? For starters, I have plenty of fridge room, not like a regular fridge in a house, but I have a two door fridge, two door freezer. I have a fridge outside that is a cooler. So um, now most people probably couldn't live in the space I live in, but I just, I, I, I just make it work. I've always kind of lived in small spaces. I like it and whatever, but going to the store, yeah. Because I'm a cooker, I like, I mean, I'm always at the store, I'm always cooking, I'm always, I go, I, I batch cook probably twice a week. And, it, and it's throughout the week, so I don't pick a day, I'm not really good at that, but hey, this morning I needed beans, I threw them in my pressure cooker, they'll be done when I get back. Um, you know, yesterday I made rice, and the day before was potatoes or whatever. 
Um, so I kind of do it throughout the week, but it seems like about twice a week I've actually done. And in the, in the RV, do you have, what, what do you have to cook? Do you have your Instant Pot? Do you have a microwave? No oven. I have a three burner stove, mm -hmm. uh, which I can fit a lot on that stove. Okay. <laughs> I have a microwave. I have the pressure cooker for the air fryer. And my uh, microwave convection oven. Oh, I use my grill when I'm here at home. I use the grill a lot. I love to grill potatoes and vegetables and um, that makes it easy, but that's pretty much it. And then finally, I asked Tammy to tell us about her businesses because she's an incredible woman and I want us to be able to support her too. So here is all about Tammy and her business. Businesses. I'm sure people are just so curious about you. What, want to tell us about the three businesses that you own? That's insane. Sure, sure. I, we, my husband and I both have together a, a clothing business that's wholesale. So it enables us to be on the road and, and travel or we can be in our hometown in New Hampshire. Uh, the other business that I love, which provides my creativity and my fun business, I call it, is my wedding photography. And that gives me a lot of freedom away from the phone for 10 hours and focusing on other people and being creative and enjoying. And then the third one is uh, apartment buildings and provide corporate housing for people. I love it. And where do you do your wedding photography? Is it in the New England area, New Hampshire? Yeah, all of New England and also in Florida. So in the winter months, we, I'm in Stewart area and pretty much I'll go anywhere. I mean, I got a call from Nashville one time. I'll, I'll go to a wedding there. Oh my goodness. And how can because people like, where can we find you for that? My, my website? <laughs> okay, my, my website is www.momentsintime.pix, P-I-C-S, in moments is plural. That's my photography website. So guys. Thank you for asking, Emmy. <laughs> yeah, women supporting women. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. I can't, okay, I, you know, I usually do the kiss, but I haven't done my nails yet and I don't want you to see what my nails look like right now, so. Mwah.